wouldn't be doing my duty if I didn't tell you that yesterday we released our 17th studio album because we wanted it to come out on all your fresh ears. thrilled about Age of Unreason. I think it's a great record, but it was so much fun to make. It took a long time uh, to compile everything that became the record, and uh, I think that paid off. When we finished this record, and Brett had sequenced it and sent us an early version to kind of listen to and see how we felt about it, I just wrote back right away, I go, this is a great album that just gets better. I feel very satisfied. You know, as an artist, 40 years into a practice, you have to look at uh, uh, your work as part of a long stretch of activity. And at this stage in the game, to feel satisfied about a piece of work when we've done so much before, it's really saying something. my first record with the band. When a band has 17 records, you think after a while the sort of creative fire would maybe dim a little bit. It seems like it's only gotten brighter this time around. When True North came out, uh, Brett and I had a conversation that if, if this were the last thing that we did, we'd be okay with that. As the global climate was changing that we're all aware of, uh, there seemed to be more reason to, to write. We had some starts and stops, and eventually you start to build on an idea, and suddenly you find you're creating something pretty special. I think that my favorite song is a song called Big Black Dog, just because it's kind of an oddball song for the band. It has that sound and groove that I sort of gravitate towards. My favorite song is Canada. It's everything I love about a bad religion song, and also the guitar solo is fantastic. Today's new material is tomorrow's hits. It takes a long time for a song sometimes to sink into the consciousness of the of the audience. We know where we can fulfill our artistic need. What we do best is be bad religion, whatever the fuck that is. Bad religion's always been about conveying the same message, which is basically society sucks if you don't encourage education and enlightenment and open-mindedness. Anytime you enter a period in society where those uh, messages are crushed or where the inspiration is gone, you enter the darker chapters of history. We wanted to once again with this record light the, the flame, the candle of enlightenment and uh, hopefully um, you know people will listen uh, this time.